YouTube, another installment with the Captain Marvel Adventures, number 11. Now, I want to show you something because last upload I had the book on my trusty glass pressing system, and I wanted to try to slowly curve the spine. So, what I have now going on is the book hanging with the spine on a hot water pipe which supplies the hot water to my house. So what I did is I'm letting it naturally come down and it will create the curve on the spine. I did put a towel over the book so it would slowly drape and pull the book down so that's it stay tuned we're going to leave that again overnight and we will test it later so this upload will continue stay tuned okay guys i removed the captain marvel adventures from the pipe and i just want to show you the curve that developed as a result. So I hope the camera's picking it up. Now what I wanna slowly do is I wanna press it where I could make the spine curved and the book folded. So it looks like a little piece of the leaf casting came up right here We'll be able to get that down with a little methyl cellulose and a brush. So what I want to do is I want to press this very delicately. So I put a magazine board in the center. I'll put a piece, piece of parchment paper on top. Then I will put my 12 by 12 sheet and I'll put it on top and I don't want to really press hard on the press because by doing that we may have an issue in breaking the spine or at least the leaf casting that was just performed so I just want to lower it down gently and usually when I press the handle is parallel to the workbench but in this case, I'm gonna lower it down a little bit so it's not tight. And then we're slowly gonna clamp down on the press. And then what I'll do is in about 20 minutes to 45 minutes, I'll repress it, making it a little bit tighter, 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 until we can get a nice pressing with the proper pressure that's needed. So stay tuned. Okay, guys, it's been about 30 minutes since I put the book in the press. So what I wanna do is I wanna open it up and see what we're dealing with now. I like to put these gloves on when I open the press with the metal. I also like to drink Beck sometimes at 5.30. Excuse me. Okay, so let's open it up and let's see what we got. Because I want to slowly do this as indicated and hopefully we'll be able to flatten the book in a nice fashion. So as I see here, it looks pretty good. So what I want to do now is we're going to get a little tighter on it. So before I get a little tighter on it, I want to add some parchment paper behind the cover, behind the front cover and the first page, because now we're going to wrench down a little bit on it. You know, I like to use that term wrench down because it's used a lot when you work on cars. 
So that's why I use it. Okay, so I've got my piece here. Let's put the piece in the back now. And I'm not gonna be able to get this spine roll out 100% because it is what it is. We have a few married pages that are not factory correct to the book. Okay, so we'll put that there. And then I'll flip it around delicately. And now we're just going to press it nice and tight. And hopefully we'll be able to get it flat. Now you always run the risk that some of the leaf casting will loosen up or at least I run the risk because I'm not at a perfect state right now with it. So we'll do our best. So I want to get a little tighter now. And the reason why this is wobbly is because I had to replace the actual handle because it broke. Okay, here we go. I did it tighter. And now we're going to see how it turns out. So stay tuned. Okay, guys. The book has been in for about an hour and a half. And what I want to do is check it out. So let's open up the press. I did tighten it. So we are getting a closer or a tighter book surface because I'm slowly tightening the press to get the book to lay flat. Also what I'm doing when I do this is in order to help the spine adjust, I actually paint methyl cellulose on the spine. And here is the methyl cellulose solution. This is what I use on a lot of my books. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I wanna to try to shape it in a round, fashion. Now this me methyl cellulose does dry clear. It is not glue. So I don't think CGC would consider it or even be able to detect it if they looked at the book. But as you know, I am paranoid because I do believe that CGC does have a group of employees in the back room looking at YouTube stations. Call me crazy. If that's what you want to do, I'm okay with it. I don't think I am. So we're going to give a nice painting of the methyl cellulose on the spine. And I do this a few times just to strengthen it because we want to try to conserve this book. That's the main goal. And to conserve the book, we have to be able to at least open the pages so we could read it. But ultimately this book is going to CGC to be graded and hopefully I do get the conserved label. So if I put the parchment paper over the area painted with the methyl cellulose, it will not stick and it will dry nicely. And it does dry clear. So I think it definitely aids in making a spine that is more supple and easier to open the book. So we're gonna leave that heating for a good 45 minutes or so. Then I'm gonna flip it around and I'll paint the other side with the methyl cellulose solution and we'll let it probably press for about three hours with the heat on and then I'll shut it off and I'll let it go overnight. So stay tuned. 
Hello YouTube. Now I pressed the book, The Captain Marvel Adventures. I pressed it about three or four times with different pressures getting tighter each time. And I was going over the prior segment of this video on my iPad and I did notice something. I noticed that there was color touch on the book. And following this segment, I'm going to post a picture of the color touch that I discovered. Now, the color touch was right in this area here. And you'll see clearly on the picture that follows that there was color touch. So I confirmed it with using my digital microscope and it didn't come up. I didn't notice it until watching the video and I'm glad that I did. So what I did was I removed the color touch, which is leaving a little area that was very weak. So what I did was I spot casted with pulp the area. So the issue is I made the appearance of the book look worse, but to me, I did not want to give CGC a clear cause to give this a purple label. So I removed it. And tell me what you think after this segment, cause I will show a pitch with picture with the color touch that I experienced and then I saw it, and it definitely was color touch. It looked like someone used a marker. So what I'm gonna do with this book, it, it definitely did press out nicely. And the next step is I'm gonna put it in the cold press. And then after the cold press, what I'm gonna do is I am going to clean it one more time, dry cleaning. I'm gonna use all my dry cleaning methods. And then the last upload will be before and after pictures and then off it goes to CGC. So thanks for sticking with me in relation to this book. And it did turn out pretty good, but you'll see the before and after pictures after I clean it. And I think the last upload that I'm gonna do is maybe I will do a time lapse with me cleaning it, maybe not. And if I don't do that, it's just gonna be the results. And then we're done with the journey for the Captain Marvel Avengers number 11. Stay tuned and take a look at the picture with the color touch. Take care, YouTube.